At this time, you know, we're grappling with this um, worldwide health emergency, the coronavirus or COVID-19. You know, businesses are closed and schools are closed and many of us have been mandated to work from home and we're doing distance learning. But even though our classrooms are empty, the DC Students Construction Trades Foundation has embraced this social distancing concept. And we are standing strong, we are standing together, and we are resilient. And so with that, we want you all to stand with us as we meet the future with the class of 2020. <laughs> Xavier Allen, IDEA Public Charter School. Michael Artemis, IDEA Public Charter School. Dayana Bowie, Phelps High School. Eric Burgess, IDEA Public Charter School. Raven Carter, IDEA Public Charter School. Terrell Chavis, Phelps High School. Jeremiah Holmes, IDEA Public Charter School. Elijah Horn, IDEA Public Charter School. Aiden Johnson, IDEA Public Charter School. Lauren Lane Jr., Phelps High School. Malachi Lane, Phelps High School. Dennis Legree, Phelps High School. Arkeem Matthews, IDEA Public Charter School. Teresa Matthews, Phelps High School. Cameron McLean, IDEA Public Charter School. Brian Ramirez Marquez, IDEA Public Charter School. DeMarco Simmons Link, IDEA, Public Charter School. Corey Smith, Phelps High School. Shane Townsend, IDEA, Public Charter School. Andrea Ulmer, IDEA, Public Charter School. And now please welcome Carol Randolph. Well, hello, and welcome to our 14th annual Meet the Future Luncheon and our 15th year for the Academy of Construction and Design. Well, as you can see, the coronavirus has canceled our luncheon, but we are stronger than the virus. And we're here to give thanks to our supporters, our board members, our teachers, and to celebrate the class of 2020. The Academy of Construction and Design was the dream of John McMahon. It's pretty fundamental in education. As soon as they work with their hands, they, their other subjects suddenly start making sense. Geometry, you need that. Uh, and so uh, once they get in interested in academics and working with their hands and understanding that they can really do something, they begin to uh, excel at school and many of them are college bound. Once we felt we had an established program, we, we went to the business community, contractors and developers in particular, and real estate professionals. Uh, they're all associated with the building business like we are. And the response was quite overwhelming. I mean, we, we now have signed on to our executive committee and, and the big, big dollar commitments uh, because they know we're doing something that works and uh, they automatically want to be part of it because all business people want to see the six cities succeed. ACAD students have built houses locally and abroad, completed apprenticeship programs, and fulfilled a critical need to their communities at large. As it continued to build upon that need, in 2018, the Foundation and the Academy of Construction and Design brought school leaders and industry employers together in ACAD Builds, a historic partnership for work-based learning. Now ACAD Bills allows students from traditional and charter high schools in Washington, D.C. to work together on community-based building projects while gaining the skills, credentials, and readiness to succeed in high-demand jobs, college degree programs, and rewarding careers. Today's career in technical education opens up a world of options to students, and this year, Prior to this COVID-19 interruption, our students from both IDEA and Phelps had the opportunity to put their training in action by participating in a couple of our signature programs, the Jamaica Trip and Shadow Day. 
It feels great to have another opportunity to do something new that I haven't had a chance to experience before. And now this time, instead of me going there as a tourist, I'm going there to help people that need it. So it's a great experience. I'm happy to do something like this once again. I'm grateful. It shows that people care about me. Also, it shows that I guess everything's happened for a reason. So maybe going on a trip will maybe open some doors for me. It'll give me new experiences and make memories to last forever. What do you expect on this trip? Um, to have fun, to be helpful towards others, and to build. The impact I think I could bring is having me as a young person talk to other young people I might come into contact with and also helping them build something that they may need and get to know their culture and get to know how they live and I can take it home and, tell it and apply it to other places. This year, 2020, um, nine students, three staff members, and we did the dang thing. This has been an amazing time. It rained like I don't know what this morning, but as you can see, the sun is out and it has just been great. So look forward to the big reveal. I'm Beth Moore Shenton coming to you live from my house to your house. We're happy today to be able to share more about our employer engagement activities this year with students at IDEA Public Charter Schools, Academy of Construction and Design, and in Phelps Ace High School in the CTE program. On Thursday, March 12th, we were able to bring 90 students out for Job Shadow Day citywide. We had three different employers who had groups of students come in to meet different representatives from different departments and also to walk job sites safely so they could learn more about each and every job that's available to them upon graduation. Check out the pictures to learn more. Hi, this is Paula Ralph, Chief Operating Officer for the Foundation. I'm delighted to welcome you today to our virtual Meet the Future event. The coronavirus has changed our classrooms, homes, and businesses in challenging ways this year. But some things have not changed. We continue to be grateful for these training partners, sponsors, industry leaders, and for friends like you who take an interest in the Academy of Construction and Design and the students we serve. Our excitement for helping students is also unchanged. Each year, we recognize and celebrate students who have achieved great things in ACAD, especially graduating seniors who are taking the next step into college degree programs or industry jobs. We are coming to you online this year in a new format and without our special guest host, Fred Smoot. But keep watching and don't miss the clever stand-in. Welcome to the 2020 Meet the Future Awards Ceremony from the Virtual MTF Stage. And now, here are your hosts, Beth Moore Shinton and Shelly Kareem. Hey everybody, this is Shelly Kareem. And this is Beth Moore Shinton. Hey, hey Shelly. Hey, Beth. And together we're here to present some really deserving students some great awards. And this year we have awards going to two DC schools. Yeah, our interns from ACAD and IDEA Public Charter School and our interns at Phelps Pace High School. So you might notice this awards presentation looks a little different than it has in the past, like everything else in our lives right now. But we're super happy you could join us today. Yeah, and just we want we really want you guys to know that we're all in this together. So let's get started with the Jennifer Awards. 
We honored longtime AK carpentry teacher, Marshall Jennifer, with a special award created by his family in his name, the Marshall Jennifer Outstanding Student Award. This year's winner is a fourth year construction student at Phelps Ace High School, where his pathways age for that. He has also had the opportunity to learn carpentry and electrical skills. He loves to have fun and has an engaging personality. He has a desire to participate in new things and to help others. This student was an ACAB built intern this school year and traveled to Jamaica with us in February, where he helped to build a school with other students from the, from, from the District of Columbia. In the fall, he will attend Becker College in Massachusetts and study game design and music. The 2020 Marshall Jennifer Outstanding Student Award is Corey Smith. He will receive an award of $500. Congratulations, Corey. Let's hear from you now. Yay! It's a great honor. Thanks once again. I'm so glad that y'all decided to take me out of the wonderful group of students that you had at your selection. So once again, thank you very much. Thank you, Shelly, and congratulations, Corey. For the past 12 years, Norman Dreyfus, Chief Operating Officer and Vice President of the IDI Group Companies, has been making a difference to the lives of students in Washington, D.C. After attending a Meet the Future luncheon and hearing students' stories, many of which were similar to his own journey from school to career, Norman decided in 2008 to start the Norman Dreyfus Scholarship Award. These scholarships assist students who are entering career or college. Norman has contributed over $150,000 and over 25 students have been the recipient of his generous award. Let's find out who's next. Our first winner is a third year ACAD student and at IDEA in the Carpentry Pathway. He has a can-do spirit and has faced and overcome major obstacles. He is determined to be the best he can be. While attending high school, he has worked the night shift at his job. He is an inspiration to all and an example of what never giving up looks like. We are proud of his determination and his positive outlook on his future. He would like to attend Montgomery County Community College to study project management. A DRIFA scholarship of $1,000 is awarded to Brian Ramirez Marquez. Congratulations, hey, Brian. Brian. How do you oh, feel? Thank you. Congratulations, Brian. <laughs> thank you. I, I appreciate the uh, opportunity uh, for me to better myself, especially in high school. Um, this has made me um, find myself to do better for myself and um, and do something that none of my family members have did before. And this is something that has changed my life. Amazing. That's the best part of that story. Congratulations, Brad. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Beth. And congratulations again, Brian. Our next Dreyfus winner is a fourth year ACAT student at Idea Public Charter. He's in the carpentry pathway. He is a student of few words, but is always known to be a loyal friend and student. Over his four years at ACAD, he has grown and shows much promise. He is an ACAD Builds intern, where he's gotten one-on-one -on -one mentoring by master builder, Mr. Dennis Chestnut. After high school, he would like to pursue his work in construction and post-secondary education, whether apprenticeship or college. A driver scholarship of $1,000 is awarded to our King Matthew. Okay, um, I would like to say thank you to all the um, teachers that I deal who have helped me out through this journey, especially Mr. Melinda and Chestnut for uh, making sure I was doing good at construction um, and making sure that after high school I had something that I wanted to do. Yeah, thank you for this opportunity and everything else. I appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations, Arkeem. 
Thank you, Ms. Kelly. Congratulations, Arkeem, and thank you, Shelly. Our next winner is a fourth year ACAD student at IDEA in the Carpentry Pathway. He is a happy young man that always has a smile on his face. Present him with a meal or just a conversation about food, and that will make him smile even wider. He is a student that others gravitate to, and he uses that to help his peers as a peer group connection facilitator, where he shares his high school experiences and encourages underclassmen to do their best. Over the last four years, he has matured and blossomed. He's an honor roll student who, while in ACAB, was offered an outside internship, but rejected it to stay the course and complete his NCCER carpentry pathway that he started in his freshman year. He will attend Virginia State University to study computer science. A Dreyfus scholarship of $1,000 is awarded to Shane Townsend. Yay! Congratulations, Shane. I would like to thank all of the ACAD staff for allowing me this opportunity. Um, the teachers, especially Ms. Kareem, for always pushing me to be the best version of myself. And uh, I would like to thank them for giving me all the opportunities that I've had over these four years. Yay! Where, where's the smile? There you go. There's the smile. Right here. Right here. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. Our final winner today receives the top award. This student is a fourth year ACAD student at IDEA in the Carpentry Pathway. While in ACAD, he has always been excited about learning new construction skills and building with his classmates. He has excelled in areas of high school to include academics and extracurricular activities. He is always present and focused on being a well-rounded young man who in addition to his role in ACAD is president of IDEA's chapter of the National Honor Society. He plays the guitar and is part of the peer group connections, mentoring younger students. He plans to attend Syracuse University in the fall. A Dreyfus scholarship of $5,000 is awarded to Michael Artis. <laughs> Congratulations, Michael. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I, I really do appreciate it. I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, I can't, I wouldn't be able to be here without one, my parents, God, and all everybody that helped me out. I just, I thank everybody a lot. And just thank you for getting me here. And I appreciate everything you've done for me. Thank you. Congratulations, Michael. Oh. <laughs> I think congratulations should go out to mom too, right? <laughs> well, I thank you. I'm so proud of this young man right here. I'm trying not to cry. I'm waiting for crying later. <laughs> mm. yeah. Make some noise for all our winners. Congratulations. Woo! Congratulations. We are so proud of you. Oh, and we're yeah. so very proud of you. And thank you so much for joining us today to honor these very deserving students. And we're so glad that each of you could be here to celebrate their successes with us. Thanks for joining us virtually today. We look forward to being with you in person next year for our annual Meet the Future luncheon and signing day ceremony. Meanwhile, we hope today's celebration brings a smile to your day and is a reminder of the great things that students are accomplishing in ACAD. Thanks for helping students meet the future.